Hey guys, Marcel Lebrun here, Financial Planner with your Advice Minute, and today I want to answer the question, what's the difference between a mutual fund and an ETF? Now an ETF is an exchange traded fund. So both of these are very similar in, that, in the way that they are both investment funds, meaning that they pool investors' money together. So they take a whole bunch of investors who contribute to the fund and then in a, invest those funds in a particular way. Now how those funds get, in, um, get invested and how it impacts the investor is how they differentiate. So an exchange traded fund is becoming more and more popular because on the surface or under a certain scope they can seem significantly cheaper. So an, an, an individual investor can purchase an ETF for let's just say 0.6% fee. It can be lower than that, it can be higher than that, I realize. But let's just say it's 0.6%. A mutual fund will typically cost you 2% or more. There's a little, some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more, but let's just take these two numbers for example. On the surface, they seem quite a bit different until you start digging deeper. Your 0.6% is if you go and buy on your own on your web trading account, right? Which means it's unadvised. You don't have an advisor telling you, you know, where you know where you should be investing. If you're properly diversified, is it too risky? Not, you know, not risky enough. Uh, are you going to reach your goals with that? So it's unadvised. As soon as you get an advisor involved, they're going to go charge their one or their one point something percent, depending on the size of the account, and then you're still at the two percent or just under uh, ballpark. The mutual fund is all in. Meaning your 2.4% means that that means your, your investor, your advisor, everybody's paid for at 2.4%, right? Now, if we go beyond that, how do these differentiate? How do they invest your money and how does it impact you? Now, the ETF is passively managed, meaning that if you buy a, an ETF of a certain index, so let's just say we buy an ETF of the T Toronto Stock Exchange, the TSX, Right? or the Dow Jones, or the S&P 500. Essentially, your ETF is supposed to mirror and own the exact same stocks that are in the TSX. Right? So all that's going to happen, realistically, is you're going to underperform that index by 0.6%. Now, I'm not going to go into the fancy ETFs that, that are leveraged and whatever, but generally speaking, an ETF is a fund which is going to mirror a particular sector or a particular index. Versus a mutual fund is not passively managed, but it's actively managed. Which is a big reason why it's more expensive. Because it has to pay teams of analysts and people to do research and try to pick stock A over stock B. So they're going to overinvest in certain sectors and ignore other sectors. They're going to jump on trends and then maybe go conservative when the markets are high. And they might go aggressive when the markets are low. They try to buy and sell stocks according to what they think is going to overperform. Now some teams do well, they manage well, and they overperform the markets, and some teams underperform the markets. So it's important, fund selection is very important, right? Just as paying your advisor to know if you're invested correctly for a particular goal and a particular set of time, um, you know, is very important. So yeah, ETFs are a lot cheaper, but when you start adding in the extras, they're probably not that much cheaper than mutual fund, where you're getting all of it, as well as two layers of management, um, in your one all-in cost. So, these are very different in certain ways. If you have any questions whether or not these are better for you, um, I recommend talking to an investor, an investment advisor. So I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Uh, get in touch with me directly. And if you like these videos, please like and share them on social media. It helps me make more of these. So that's all I have for you this week. Cheers, guys.